what's up guys so today we're going to be putting a nasogastric tube we're going to talk about when do you use it when do you not use it and how do you measure it and how do you put it in so a nasogastric tube is obviously from the nose to the stomach or you can go oral gastric if the patient is not awake i have inserted one into myself before uh, i just didn't film it and it is not painful but it can be very uncomfortable how do we measure it? So we measure it from the nose to the earlobe to just below the xiphoid process. You don't want to go further than that because you don't want to actually go into the gut. So you can have a nasoenteric tube, which goes from the nose into the small intestine if you want to avoid the stomach. If someone has a massive brain injury, you might want to avoid going through the nose, in which case you can just put it through the mouth. Not a biggie. You can use it to put things into the stomach. You can, you can use it to take things out of the stomach. Something common is that if, if we RSI someone, we're going to be taking fluid out of their stomach or air out of their stomach, if we've bagged air into their stomach, or if you want to put something in, so activate a charcoal, or you wanna warm them up so you can put warm water into their stomach. Something that's super important is that you need to make sure it's in the right place. If you pass this in and it goes into your trachea, into your lungs and you put activated charcoal into your lungs, which has happened, you're gonna cause a lot of problems. So it's super important that we test it in the stomach. How do we do that? Well, we can take a big syringe and blow air into the nasogastric and listen to the stomach and we should hear bubbles. And we can also draw out stomach content and we can do a litmus test on that content because the pH in the stomach is very high. So let's, let's go for it. I have a bucket here in case. Another question is that this doesn't actually have to be a sterile procedure because my nose, mouth and stomach are not sterile. Like a urinary catheter insertion. So, I have some water to help me swallow. And I go from the nose to the ear uh, to the xiphoid. That is at 50 centimeters. Alrighty, let's go. I'm not using any jar. I don't like jar on my nose, so let's let's give it a try. If one nose doesn't work, try the other nose. Right, I'm at the back of the throat. Really hope I don't vomit, but I am prepared. Hello. Alrighty, I'm having some success. I said 50, which is there. And there we go. Oh. So how do we know that it's in? Oh, it's very uncomfortable. If I blow on this, what's gonna happen? I should have bubbles in my stomach. Oh, that's like a door. So I can siphon water into my nose. It's very uncomfortable. But there we go. I'm going to take it out now. Oh, it's uncomfortable. Alrighty, so that is how you insert a nasogastric tube. Um, I actually had to use a little bit of numbing um, agent. I used some lignocaine on the back of my throat because I tried and tried and tried, and it was just too much of a gag response, and I don't think I have a very strong gag response, um, but it was too much of a gag response, so I just sprayed a little bit of lignocaine on the back of my throat, and then I got it in, no problem. So it is, I think it's very uncomfortable. Um, this is a relatively large one. You do get much smaller and much softer ones. So there are many other options, but what's important is that you know that the tube is in the right place. 
And once you know it's in the right place, then you can start doing things you need to do, whether you're gonna be putting things in or taking things out. If you get it into the lungs, you're not gonna be able to go past the carina. You're gonna be feeling some resistance on it going down. Once you get past the esophagus and um, your trachea at the top, it just glides all the way in because then you're past all the resistance. But, um, but, but really, it's probably a skill that we don't do often enough. Um, patients who are intubated should have a nasogastric placed. So guys, I hope this was good and that, yeah, we, we all learned something from it. So thanks for your time. If you enjoyed this, please hit like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions about how that felt, uh, let me know.